So, hey, let's talk about Cloud Sig and now on the, in the next uh, few minutes. Um, so, yeah, I'm Joel Capitan. Uh, I'm a software engineer at Red Hat. Uh, I'm mainly contributing to the OpenStack RDO. So, yeah, I'm contributing also to the OpenStack um, upstream and also Fedora and CentOS. Because RDO is kind of connected to all of these uh, communities. Um, and also, I'm co sharing the, the Cloud SIG with Christian. Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, I'm Christian. I am also a software engineer. Uh, I work in the OpenShift division, and I'm mostly in charge of releasing OKD, which is our community variant uh, of the OpenShift code base. So, yeah. So, with Christian, we wanted to to give a quick update of the Cloud SIG. Uh, so in the first part, we will talk about the SIG, so a SIG overview. What's the purpose? What's the, the, um, the key point we have to talk about? And then we talk uh, about the current uh, deliverables um, we have in the SIG and what we have for the next plans for this year. Uh, so first, let's remind the the purpose of the SIG, so it's to provide um, cloud infrastructure service on top of CentOS Stream system and CentOS alike systems also. Um, so it could be infrastructure as a service, it could be platform as a service or whatever. Uh, everything that is related to cloud in any kind, uh, we are pleased to, to, to welcome it in the, in the SIG. So currently we have two projects, uh, RDO and OKD which are both uh, distributions. Um, RDO is for OpenStack and OKD for, for Kubernetes. Uh, yeah, we'll get into that in a few seconds, but just before, uh, some key data point to, to share. Our documentation uh, lives in six.centos.org in the cloud namespace. Uh, we did the migration last year, I mean the documentation. We migrated uh, last year, like the other six. We have currently 13 members, um, but yeah, only half are really active. Uh, two active projects, so RDO and OKD. And we all, uh, an ISC meeting uh, every month on the CentOS meeting room on Libera chat. Uh, and let me jump in here real quick. If you have something, a project or anything, um, this is kind of a call for action. If you're interested in joining the Cloud SIG with either for one of those projects or with your own project that you think might fit in there because it is something cloud infrastructure alike, um, then please reach out to us. We're definitely happy to welcome more new members and new projects um, into the fold with Cloud SIG. Um, we've really just revived that SIG last year, so we're really still ramping up and kind of getting getting into a place where everything uh, is very structured and, and stable. Not there yet. Uh, if you've seen yesterday's uh, hyperscale SIG um, update, uh, I think um, they're a great role model for us, what to achieve, and uh, we, we hope to be getting there. So if you're interested in joining Cloud SIG, I'm, obviously you're very welcome to do so. So next, uh, let's talk about RDO. Uh, so RDO stands for RPM distribution of OpenStack. So as you may have guessed, uh, it's uh, the, the deliverable, it's a set of repositories. Uh, so basically, RDO takes the upstream OpenStack project and we package them. So we end up with a set of repositories, uh, set of package, sorry. We test them through different scenarios by enabling or disabling some services or features. Uh, so we run it on the CI pipelines. And if all goes well, uh, we promote the content uh, in the testing repositories and then in the release. So at the end, uh, we populate the, the repositories in the, uh, in the CentOS mirrors, official CentOS mirrors. Um, so yeah, that's the basic overview of how uh, Azure works, but yeah. This is more complex uh, into that, but for the sake of the presentations, we'll keep it simple. Uh, all of the stuff is done on CBS, on the CentOS community build system. So the actual builds 
and also the tagging operations. Uh, and by the way, thanks to uh, the Infra team uh, for making the user experience great for us. Uh, currently, we support the same open stack release that, uh, maintained by Upstream. So we have four releases, but Yoga will transition to the unmaintained status very soon. Uh, so we'll end up with only three releases. So at the end, you just have to run that command, that DNF install, and you end up with all the repositories required and enabled to, to install any kind of project, uh, uh, open stack project on your CS9 machine. Um, what we have achieved last year, we have issued two releases, as we do every year, since more than 10 years now. Yeah, by the way, we have celebrated the 10th anniversary of RDO. So kudos to all the RDOs that have made this possible uh, since the beginning now. Um, also, we have updated all of our spec files uh, to take the uh, advantage of the five project RPM macros. Uh, so basically, it's a set of macros that aims to ease the packaging process of Python projects. So for instance, it can add the runtime and build time uh, dependencies automatically. Uh, and actually, that was the main reason why we, we did that migration. It can also populate the file section in the spec files. Um, and also, we can run the tox-based test uh, without having to copy past the, the comments uh, inside the tox configuration file. So yeah, it's a big achievement for us because uh, we have less content to maintain. And actually, since the migration, we have less fail to build from source that we have uh, in the past. So yeah. Great achievement. Um, what's coming up this year now? Um, we want to deploy RDO with OKD. Uh, I won't go into much detail here because that's the next presentation. So they will talk about that uh, in more details, uh, Alfred and Carolina. Uh, once we well, do you want to share real quick which way around? Is it OKD on top of RDO or RDO on top of OKD? It's, <laughs> it's RDO on top of OKD. <laughs> Uh, once we have the CS10 Compose, uh, working Compose, <laughs> we'll be able to bootstrap RDO on it. And finally, um, we have also to migrate part of the tooling on CS9 machine, because yeah, CS8, it's uh, end of life, uh, end of May of this year. So we have to migrate uh, a bunch of nodes to the CS9. And that's it for, for RDO. And for the OKD slide, um, I removed the text explaining what OKD stands for. It's not an acronym. It's not the origin Kubernetes distribution, although it kind of is. We're not supposed to say that. It's, it's a, a distribution of Kubernetes that is based on the OpenShift code base. Um, so OKD, um, you may or may not know it. Uh, we introduced a new or two new variant uh, variants of OKD, actually two new release streams of OKD last year, um, being uh, both based on, on SCOS. SCOS is CentOS Stream Core OS. Um, don't hate me for that acronym. That is an acronym, SCOS. Um, and we actually have two new variants. We, we introduced two new variants last year, which is one based on, uh, on the master branches, which is OKD on SCOS Next, and OKD on SCOS Stable is based on the latest GA, uh, G8 code. Um, so really, in uh, overall, we have three OKD variants now. Uh, OKD on Fedora CoreOS on FCOS um, used to be already there. And um, last year has been kind of boring for us because we've just been releasing these builds, which is, I think, a good sign. Um, it's not too catchy or flashy, but we've been doing releases of these three streams uh, regularly, um, and that's been working pretty pretty well. Um, what's what's next, though? For uh, okay, I just got zapped here. Um, <laughs> Is that the question? We'll be back. 
Uh, I think it was, okay. Um, yeah. Um, Yeah, for, uh, what's next for OKD um, is really collaborating with um, the AI SIG, the uh, Alternative Images <laughs> SIG, <laughs> uh, to, uh, to get these images that we build um, distributed uh, more wide, uh, widely, even without using them in OKD. So OKD, um, if you don't know the context, uh, we, we ship a payload that is composed of container images, and one of these container images in wraps or ships includes the base operating system. So we ship the operating system as a container image. Um, and obviously we build that CentOS Stream CoreOS variant of, of CentOS Stream specifically for OKD currently, and we, we'd just like to make it uh, useful outside of the OKD context, because we think having uh, an, an OKD CoreOS or SCOS is a, an RPM OS tree based OS, um, so it might be useful in, in, in other contexts as well. Um, you could derive your own uh, image from, from that base, and we just want to make, uh, yeah, essentially want to make that more useful outside of the OKD context uh, by distributing these images that are currently just included in the, in the OKD payload separately as well through the AI SIG. Um, so that is one thing uh, for next year, or oh, for, for this year. Um, and uh, there's also, yeah, I just kind of uh, touched on it, uh, layering. We have this concept of CoreOS layering, where you actually use Docker files because it's all shipped in a container, and you can, you can manipulate the, the OS contents through a Docker file. It's a really cool concept, and we wanna, we wanna uh, explore that further and make it super easy to, to derive your own variant of the OKD base OS that we ship in a container. Um, there's more on that coming later this year. Uh, for now, no big announcements, but um, yeah, we've been shipping away, chipping away at that, shipping OKD, and um, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of the update from my side. And yeah, if, if you wanna have a look, um, Actually, it's okd.io as the website, um, and all of these images are on Quay. Uh, but you'll actually, you, you don't actually need to go to Quay, okd.io, and then install okd, and it'll, it'll pull all these images as part of the inst installer. And that's it. Any questions? <laughs> no questions must mean we've We've done a good job. Uh, there's one, there's one. So there is also this CRC distribution. Uh, is that possible to use it with OKD content? Not currently as far as I know. So there's a couple of, of efforts um, and not all of them there. CRC is OpenShift local, I think, um, and that actually uses OKD under the hood, but it's, yeah, it's a bit, Difficult. One of the, the things um, I often have to explain, what, what's the relationship between OKD and OpenShift? It's not actually that currently OKD is the upstream. It's more of a sibling stream. We are trying to clarify that relationship, and uh, this year we're, we're probably going to be making OKD a real upstream for OCP. I think that is one thing I, I can already say. So we want to build the, the OpenShift master branch branches of the different repositories primarily uh, on CentOS stream content. Currently we use a lot of UBI content in the OKD builds and we're gonna replace that with CentOS stream content just to, to get the, the latest content. Um, and CRC will change uh, through that, but um, it's, it's a different team that maintains that. Uh, I would, yeah, I'd love to actually talk to, to the maintainers, um, but yeah, no, no huge changes are planned there, we'll just switch out the, con uh, the content, but uh, yeah, I, I imagine with that we'll, we'll kind of have a, a pure CentOS version of CRC at one point. Currently it's with all the UBI content, it's a bit difficult to explain how, how exactly that uh, is composed, but we'll get there eventually and hopefully this year. Hi, uh, is the uh, OpenStack Ansible project a good candidate for this SIG, the cloud SIG? 
so actually, um, we moved away from Ansible. We, we had an Ansible-based installer in, uh, in Origin, which was OpenShift 3.x times, and we moved towards, um, towards something else now, and may, maybe that is uh, useful, but I'm not, I'm not familiar with, with the repository. So is it just roles for managing clusters, or uh, what are the... What's, what is that? Yeah, uh, OpenStack Ansible is a, um, a core surface project for OpenStack that installs from source or distribution packages. Uh, so oh, OpenStack. OpenStack I, Ansible, I, I was, yeah. Oh, OSA. Okay. Sorry. Um, so I am yep. one of the core reviewers for, for OSA, uh, and we've added uh, Rocky support and have been trying to maintain CentOS stream support for it as well, but it is slightly problematic uh, in, in some ways, and I've had to take up some additional responsibilities on like the CentOS NFV SIG, for example, to be able to maintain packages for Rocky, um, to, to maintain uh, compatibility in that, that way, but it would be nice to be able to collaborate in, in a larger way on all of those sorts of things, so. But yeah, yeah, sure. It could be a great candidate for the, for the SIG. Uh, so I, we need to, to talk to each other after yeah. <laughs> yeah, and another thing, uh, if you want to help with automation, we currently build a couple of RPMs on on the CBS, the community build system, where we don't, actually the, the RDO folks have have great automation using yeah. Carrot. Uh, for the OpenShift and OKD side, we don't yet, and we're looking uh, for best practices and for really for someone to, to add those, uh, to add that auto, uh, automation for us. Because we build packages like Cryo, which aren't otherwise available on CentOS, um, on CBS. Uh, if you're interested in helping with that, uh, please reach out. Um, yeah. Any other questions? Any criticism? <laughs> Okay, then uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.